just wish to thank all of you, especially our dear audience and guests, for their kindness and support. We hope you have seen good films and spent a wonderful time with us in Porto. Starting with the Audience Award, o vencedor é, and the winner is, the Panama Papers, Alex Winter, USA, Estados Unidos. Amen. Next, we have the Critics Awards, chosen by some media representatives at the festival. O vencedor é, and the winner is, Painting Life, the Biju Kumar Damodaran, India. to give the award, Mario Dorminski. Sizes. 
These are the ones the jury decided to award. The jury was constituted by Milan Todorovic. Todorovic? Todorovic. Todorovic. He is a third Serbia, director of Serbia. Anton Vitel, critic of England, critic from England. Bruno Chatelain, journalist of France, journalist of France. Frederico Duarte Carvalho, journalist and escritor of Portugal, journalist and writer of Portugal. Rodrigo, smile. Everyone in the audience, please give me a smile <laughs> and raise your hand because this is a great festival. Number 40 next year is going to be fantastic, and I want you to bring each one two friends. So we're ready. Movies and the cinema. It's a very, very important uh, weapon to survive in the war, and our country, Brazil, is in a very hard moment, political hard moment, and we need to dream with fantasy movies and with all the movies and the, all the arts, because uh, people without means is not their people. Thank you so much for and we're so grateful for it. Uh, best actress. Oh gosh. I remember when the director and the producer of Living Space, Steven Spiel and Natalie Forward, approached me with this role. And I was really uncertain if I could even pull it off because I'd never acted in the genre of horror before. And on my first day on set, I turned to Lee Scully, who plays Brad, and I remember saying, they don't teach you how to do this in drama school. <laughs> so to be able to win an award for best actress in a role that was so challenging and so emotionally exhausting means the world to me because it reiterates the importance of stepping out of your comfort zone and backing yourself. And I'm also so grateful for the recognition within the industry. So thank you judges for awarding me this because this is only going to create more momentum in my career and, and I really love acting. So this is so, so amazing. So amazing. Um, I have to take the time right now to really thank every person that was involved in Living Space, the cast, the crew, Andrea Buck, for creating such a supportive environment where we really worked together to achieve this film. Um, and of course, thank you to all my family and friends for your never ending support. Um, you guys mean the world to me. This whole film festival and experience was absolutely mind blowing and and I loved every moment of it. So here's to the 39th Fantas Porto, Porto's International Film Festival. It is absolutely amazing and I, I will never expect uh, I will never forget my experience there. Thank you. Our film festival, it's with very much respect and gratitude and honor I accept this award. The Headhunter was uh, the first movie I did where I got to play the lead characters. So getting this kind of uh, feedback and getting this kind of recognition is invaluable to me and my career. So once again, thank you very much. We uh, shot this movie a couple of years back in a small village called Satella, not too far from uh, Braganza. 
Uh, and uh, last weekend, I got to go to the Franco Sporto Film Festival uh, and to see the movie. So I had an amazing experience there. Also, my first time in Porto. So, uh, so I had a terrific weekend. Thank you for that. I would also like to give a shout out to the rest of the crew. We were a small skeleton crew and uh, we didn't have a lot of resources available to put into this movie, but we did put our hearts and souls and uh, bodies, not the least, uh, into the mix and we were able to create something I think extraordinary. Um, so uh, a big thank you uh, for the people who made this possible. Uh, one of them, uh, Porto's own, Kevin Stewart, which is here tonight, by the beer afterwards, and uh, Jordan Downey, and also Ricky Possein. So thank you guys for making this possible. Now, uh, if you will excuse me, I have some celebrating to do myself in Norway. Pantos Porto, I bid you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Thank you very much, guys. Juventus Torre, and the winner is Julian Richards. Ocean Freeborn, Italy Star. I prepared a long speech uh, about the joint duties, but since I don't speak Portuguese and my English is so so, we have a saying in Serbia that we should speak in Serbian so the whole world could understand it. So my long speech is in Serbian. Hvala svima što ste došli, Jelas, imali smo teže za vas, kad mi u žiriju da možete biti pobednik. Moji kolege u žiriju su ovako bili dosta temeni, bili smo dosta posvećeni sam u tome i cela selekcija je bila jako dobra, imali smo teže za vas, naravno to se je bilo. Bio fun, reći. Okay, so uh, just to resume, I want to thank uh, Mario and Beatrice for uh, uh, having us here in the jury. I have to say for myself that uh, since I was a student in film school, I knew about Fanta Sporto, so I always wanted to come here. So being as a member of the jury is a big thing really for me. Uh, also, thank you uh, the whole team of Fanta Sporto, my fellow jury members, and my big, big honor is to, for first time in history of this uh, first only ever director winning for two movies, because he had two movies in the uh, selection. So, Julian Richards, the winner for Best Director for E1, Debbie Rock. Thank you for this. Uh, thank you, uh, of course, thank you to, uh, to, uh, to Mario and Beatrice, who will continue to keep cinema alive through, uh, through Frankish Porto, um, and, um, and to the jury for making uh, you know, my selection for Best Director. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the last uh, 24 months have been very busy for me, having uh, made two films. Um, but I also became a father of twins. Um, so, uh, I want to dedicate this award to, um, uh, first of all, to, uh, to my wife, Anna, who, uh, who became a mother father whilst I was pleased with making these two films. Um, and also to my children, uh, the Ewan Kayana, who I'm sure will be coming to Fantastic Quarters in the future. <laughs> the jury, and of course, has for the film festival. You know, this really, I'm sorry not to be here with you today, but this really is just completely beyond our imagination, uh, our expectations, you know. Uh, it, it's strange for me because it's my first big award. I've been making films since I was 13, like little shorts, but this is my first big award, and I'm not sure what to say because I am very used to failure, you know. Um, <laughs> even just making this film, you know, I moved to China four years ago to try to make a Chinese sci-fi. And only finally, uh, thankfully, Yoku greenlit Last Sunrise, but it was on a very modest budget because it was my first film, first feature, and also one of the first uh, Chinese indie sci-fis. Uh, so we had a great challenge, you know, we, we shot the film in 14 days, 
traveling over 20, um, I'm sorry, 1,600 kilometers under negative 26 Celsius temperature. Uh, it was not a good time, to be honest. Uh, most people were very miserable, um, and post-production was just as tough. Due to budgetary reasons, we ended up having one guy pulling off most of the 450 VFX shots. And I felt terrible because I was at the center of the storm, and uh, I knew that the only thing, only way I, we can recover from this is if we made uh, a decent, um, watchable film. And, you know, we applied to Fans Porto very late. I, I heard that we were maybe one of the last few uh, submissions. So I thought there was no way. Um, you know, I thought they wouldn't even watch the film. Like, we would just apply and that was it. And, but, and when we got the acceptance letter, uh, you know, we, uh, we felt that we won the lottery. We were so happy, and now I find that we win the the, um, the, the best film award. And um, you know, we came to Porto to this incredible city. I fell in love um, with the blue white tile design, the history, the food, the wine. I had such a great time meeting everyone. Um, but we just left because there was such a strong lineup, and I thought there was just absolutely no chance. And uh, <laughs> you know, I was at the airport actually. Uh, when Mario sent me the email, and when I read it, I read it 20 times, and I told my co-producer Ellie, and she started crying. And seeing her cry, I started to cry, and you know, I emailed the debating producers, uh, Rui Ang, Min Chie, and also Xin Ran, and she cried, and <laughs> once we wrapped up all the crying in the middle of the airport, we realized that uh, we couldn't uh, get off, we couldn't leave, because we checked our baggage and everything, and, um, and we had to go. Uh, you know, it, it's as the director of the film, it's a little bit embarrassing to say um, it's my first one, but I often find myself needing direction offset. Um, I don't always know what I'm doing, and I can only trust my taste, and I really rely on my friends um, and rely on festivals like Venice Porto um, to point me in the right direction and to tell me that, uh, to confirm my vision and help me see this light in the darkness. So. I really want to thank Fine Porto. I want to thank CAA, Yoku, Lianre. I humbly thank everyone who accepted this, um, you know, small budget in these Chinese sci-fi film. Um, and long live Fine Porto. And so it ends the Fantasy Porto 2019 awards. You are the host, Mario Garminski, and now with you, Mario Garminski. You don't believe it, I will be very, very, very quick. <laughs> no, no. No? No, that's okay. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh...